This is Brett Waltemath of the Headliner and Starwatch Media outside of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California for the 2011 TCM Classic Film Festival. Hello ladies, Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media. It's a pleasure to speak to you both. You both look beautiful this evening. Okay, um, yeah, Femme Fatale is premiering uh, Friday the 13th <laughs> uh, <laughs> of, the, of this month. Actually, it depends which side are you on. It might be horror for yes. some people. Okay. Yes. <laughs> film Noir, Edna, uh, kind of a, almost a tribute to Film Noir in a way. Uh, can you please tell us a little bit about the show and uh, your roles in the show? Well, um, I play Darla McKendrick in the third episode, and um, you know the show is just—it's a lot of powerful women, like you keep saying. Um, there's a lot of mystery, a lot of thriller, just depending on which episode you're watching. It's got comedy, it's got action, it's got hot chicks kicking ass, <laughs> it's got everything any guy would ever dream of. <laughs> in reality, all piled into one. I don't think it's just made really for guys. No, it is in a lot of ways because there's a lot of sexy women, often gladly clawed, you know, hardly dressed. Yeah. But at the same time, it's really how women come into power and take the power into their hands. Sometimes it's with a gun or a knife. <laughs> but in general, it is about women becoming powerful and, you know, coming and going, growing into their power. How do you go about preparing for your individual roles? I'll start to the right. Oh, um, I guess with each role, it's just different. You have to build the back character. Um, where is she coming from? Was there something that motivated her action? Um, and really building that um, backstory. And in my case, you know, I may look like a taking care of housewife, but really I had some uh, abandonment issues or something. <laughs> and, and I took it out of my husband. <laughs> and for you, how'd you go about preparing for your role? Well, uh, it was interesting because my first episode was a, a, a sequel, I mean, then we did a prequel. So I, I kind of had this backstory for my character, and the first one is in jail. It's a jail episode, it's the premiere episode. And, uh, and I, I'm toughened in it. So what I do usually is that I try, first of all, find out what is it like to be in jail. Find out why women snap, like that show Snap. <laughs> you know, why do they end up there? Why do they kill their husbands or whoever? Did they end up in those situations? And not necessarily, is it because of any kind of anger, but anger, what, what made her not thinking for the negative characteristic of the character, but finding the positive. And, and then also, you know, realizing what is it like being lesbian <laughs> because you know and what makes women be lesbian it's easier being a woman connected to that because it's a feminine energy so there's a lot to do but also if you think about it when you're doing television you're getting cast really fast so you're getting this you know okay you got it's shooting next week okay oh in a couple of days then you don't really have a lot of time you're hoping that you can make as much as you can from the time you have um, upcoming projects for you both will you both be collaborating again together soon so I, uh, I'm hoping to make a return to Femme Fatales. Um, we'll see. And um, who knows? And for you? Well, actually, I am my episode. Uh, the, one of the episodes is getting spin off again, and there's something happens. So they make another episode based on one of the episodes. So I'm going to be in the next season that's being filmed right now. Uh, they just started filming the second season, even that it hasn't aired, so this is quite incredible uh, for the show, which already gives it a credibility that people should watch it. And uh, other stuff I can't say because I will be able to say it on probably Monday or Tuesday. Thank you so much, ladies, and best of luck on the premiere of the show, and enjoy the evening.